We're at a serious cross, uh, cross point in Nigeria. We're at a cr serious cr uh, crossroad. I'm surprised with what I'm hearing now. Whoever is in his sense and knows what is happening in, the, in Nigeria should fear for what will come. Three things are making me app apprehensive of what is coming. First, the government itself seems it doesn't realize what is on ground. And the politicians that are supposed to advise the government properly are also, uh, they seem either they know or they pretend not to know what is happening. But I want to ask you, Chamberlain, can we pretend to say there is bad no bad governance in Nigeria? Can we pretend to say there is no corruption in Nigeria? Can we yeah, but, can Mr. We Simon, yes? uh, I don't know if you heard part of what Mr. Joe has said earlier. Part of what he also said, he said, look, we acknowledge there are tough times. People are Ooh, those are ambushing who? They are ambushing the government. What they fail to get at the poor, they, they are they, they dreaming. Oh, they so, believe they can so get it through. That's what you Some mean of them by... are saying, for example, so we are uh, revolution now. We revolution. But, hey, but, but, but Mr. Joe, yes. much as you say, when you said it was an ambush, it's, it's a plot, it's a plot they, they something, to lay for the government. something to come. People yes. listen to you will think, ah, wait a minute, is that more to this that meets the eye? But you just say, now, when you now take it to persons who are contested and lost, is, lost. That, is that what you mean by it's an ambush? That, you know, I said, what they fail to get at the poll and through the court. You know, when they lost at the poll, they placed all their hopes on the court. And they came with some uh, cases well, that are so bad you know, in, and in, court threw, threw it away. You now, know, lawyers, you, you always opinion. talk about Evidence. Yes. Hard facts. Hard facts. When you say, oh, these are persons who lost elections. Yes. What well, is your hard fact to say? Well, those persons you see on the streets there, yes. Mr. Adegoro and Mr. Fallon and all of those persons, no, are I they part of this home. ambush? That's one part. What, you see, you see politicians use Nigerian human rights or social rights activists. I'm not one of them are sincere. In fact, I can say it authentically. I pen it an article this morning, which I've sacrificed and white. Ninety nine percent of them are fake. The lack of Fanny Fanny, Fanny Fanny, Fanny Fanny, the lack of Chima Bani, of Blessed Memory. The likes, the likes of them are very few. So others are imposters. Mr. 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 Farana and Mr. Degoro are defending fake people. They are defending people who are pretenders, fake people. That's why I said the so-called the imminent, the imminent protest. I said it's a ruse. It's a smooth screen. I need to understand. To cover, they are pretending to I need to understand. Just help me understand what you mean. When yes. you say ambush, ruse, what's, yes. the, what's the plot? What's the plan? The plot, the, the plan, the plan mm. is to destabilize the government. They've not given up since they lost in court. Mm. You know, initially, when they, after the election, you know, the wife will say, no, the election was not declared. They, they tried. So do you have in, evidence? In uh, Urubebe how, and uh, yeah, how, how, how did you come to that conclusion? What's that man? The man from Kanu, from uh, Kogi. Yeah, but, but, how did you come to that conclusion? Do you have any I have documentation? Fact, I, when I talk, I talk from an informed opinion. So let's hear the facts. What are the facts that have informed this? That informed this. Oh, if you look at all those who have been supporting this. Mm. Do you my point? Look, you see the spring, Arab spring, when it happened, it started in Egypt. And it spread like wildfire all over the Middle East. And, uh, this I'm one, coming, I'm coming. This one. That was a genuine instance. Spontaneous and instantaneous. But when someone say we are planning, we meet somewhere, we did it. Protests are not done that way. I, I am an expert in public protest. Because I, I know that you have protested before. No, I've protested before. That was so when you protest, last time I let's talk about when you... the Ebony or Sapriot. It, 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 it was the structural adjustment program and Ebony, riot. Ebony. Okay, so you protested during those protested those, those Tell those us about that. What made you what made you come out to protest? I was a young student then. Mm. I was in, I was in Jambite, my first year at University of Lagos. Mm. And we were led by the nose by our SUG president then. Philip Madi Madi Kodman do duty me in Unilag. You are the same. They said they've seen Ebony, Ebony, Babangida, something in uh, Paris. He owned this. That's what I do. And I believe in that's what I do. Because of him, I joined the free. Believe me. Later, we got to know that I was not like that in Ebony. And when they asked five, that's what I do. They said, Mr. Tatsunari, this is Ebony magazine. Of so today, which you have to say. Oh, yeah, source. Where was that at the could or but he couldn't see anything. Didn't, but didn't, my mentor, didn't Mr. Philip planned it. But Mr. Philip planned it. Mr. Philip, he planned it. He planned yes, he, he led us by the nose because we were gullible. But he planned and that's what these people are doing to for those who are gullible. I'm not going to go my house out I'm an adult now. Okay. I'm 55 years old. Do you, do you think hmm. that we need to end gov bad governance in Nigeria? Do you no, agree with I that? Agree. I agree. I agree. I've always said it. I do not have it. Okay. No. So if, if yes, you now. agree with that, hold on. Yes. If you agree that there is bad governance in the country, yes. don't you think that there will be people, genuine people, who want to speak up about this bad yes. governance? Yes. Do you think that it should be allowed the space to yes. ventilate? I've written articles. Mm -mm. Do you think that people who believe that they are victims of bad governance yes. should be given the space to ventilate? Yes, anyway. And let me tell you how to do it. Not by causing unrest. Or going on, on uh, frivolous and senseless protest. Look, all of us are guilty. Uh, Julius Caesar, William, William Shakespeare, Julius Caesar said, the first they are us. It's not in our stars, but in our self. But where do the line is? The real politics, the line join. People who are there are bad, majority of them are bad people. People who don't know their right from the left, from the left and from the right, they are politicians. Mm. But all of us who are professionals, should become politics, so that we become professional in politics. After I give you an example, when I was committed, I was supported by Senator Abiola Jumebi. And when the second, the election was coming, he said, I don't want any talk to Ojo. A lot of you, Ojo Sack, who is now the chair of FFA, be my recommendation. Nobody's calling Chateau Crocat. I want to make a politician of you. Go out to your world, to your local government, go and do politics. And the day I, the day I went there, to my local government, okay. they, they were happy to see me, they threw their secretary to me, they said, the chairman, the vice chairman, 
I decided this is legal visa. I look at him and say, Bradluku. Bradluku, they got this is legal visa. I said, Bradluku, not ask for that. I decided just who have. Have we seen them? Mm. That's in the South East, you can commit. Okay. Because people can commit. So you say, my politics. You say that uh, Mr. Falana and Adibura, they are defending fake people. Uh, I said they are so imposters. The people that are defending are imposters. Yeah, no, you know, even most of them, mm. they are not being sincere with this attitude of theirs. Okay. And they have other means, other motives, which they are. Look, I know a lot. So some, of, some, do, of, some, do, of, some of girls behind it. Okay. Some of them struggle to become minister under, under this man. Do you think they that? They appoint them as ministers. Do you think that Mr. Falana and Mr. Adibura know their ultimate intent? Mm. You see, I, when I mention sincere activists, yeah. I suffer with it. I too, I'm Mr. Falana. Okay, no, but he's allowed to. Put, those, I did not add. Don't add them for me. No, no but, but he's, he's defending, defending, he's defending the protesters now. He's you see, he was in that meeting with the IG yesterday. Let me tell you a problem with Mr. Falana. If Mr. Falana is become governor or president of this country today, and if, he, if he's driving in his convoy, and he see people protesting, he will jump around against them. Because that is become part of him. That is his life. Okay. He will tell well, us we have forgotten that he's president. Dr. Ahmed Suleiman. They don't know peace. They know. We are used to all those wars. Well, well, Dr. Ahmed Suleiman. Also, Jesus. Oh, he's a genuine activist. Well, Dr. Suleiman, tell us which one you are now. I mean, I'm looking to see Amadou Bede University, legal practice. So please, good morning, first of all, and thank you for joining us on the program from our studios in Kano. So, what, what is your impression about how all of this is playing out? Because, first of all, we understand how are the streets of Kano? Are, are there policemen and security all over the place, as some say? Uh, we, we can't hear you at the moment. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Morning. Now, it's not a laughing stock. We're at a serious cross, uh, cross point in Nigeria. We're at a serious cr uh, crossroad. I'm surprised with what I'm hearing now. Whoever is in his sense and knows what is happening in, the, in Nigeria should fear for what will come. Three things are making me apprehensive of what is coming. First, the government itself, since it doesn't realize what is on ground, and the politicians that are supposed to advise the government properly are also, uh, they seem either they know or they pretend not to know what is happening. But I want to ask you, Chamberlain, can we pretend to say there is bad government, no bad governance in Nigeria? Can we pretend to say there is no corruption in Nigeria? Can we yeah, pretend? Can Dr. We Suleiman, yes? Uh, I don't know if you heard part of what Mr. Joe has said earlier. Part of what he also said, he said, look, we acknowledge there are tough times. People are living to work, right? And some are working to live. And he said, I do understand that there's a bad scenario, he said. But... He also did say there are elements of those who had lost elections who are leveraging, in fact, I think he said there are those behind some of this protest to hijack certain things and cause disaffection, taking advantage of the situation that we are in economically. He will would deny that. He will wake up from that slumber. He will wake up from that slumber. I was also sleeping like that during the, 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 the NSAS riot. You remember, Chamberlain, there was a program. I argued with you in that conspiracy theory. But I've woken up from that slumber. The reality of the situation in Nigeria is that things are so tense that government have to change its tactics. Do you remember about a month ago or two months ago in this studio, I advised that things are becoming so tense and government should urgently do something. Otherwise, the combustion will burst out. Have you now seen it bursting out? What I'm afraid, Chamberlain, put what I'm saying on the record. Government is missing the situation. And these people are missing the situation. All these conspiracy theories will not save us. Let us look at the situation on ground. I want you to look at how government is responding. Do you respond to such a situation by conspiracy theories? No. You look at the issues on ground. Do you respond to this by normal things? We had on the radio, over the radio, that government is sending uh, some relief to some governors to share. If things sent through governors or bureaucrats have been reaching the, the poor people, we wouldn't have reached this stage. Why do you keep on doing one thing for many years, for years, right. for decades, without results? Okay. Parliament to jump in. It, it just needs to go back and forth so we can get the most out of everybody. Mr. Joe, you heard him say, government is missing the point. And perhaps that suggests that you may also be missing the no. points if you don't. No, I said it. I said, one must face facts. Things are hard now. The day are different to the hell. It is hellish. Except those who are not any honest income. Those who are not living by their sweat. You get my point? And they're not in government alone. They're everywhere. People are used to cut corner. If I know his background, I can... Explain for you. I don't know his background, but what he does, what he does. The what lecturer, I'm not the better investor. If we invest is true, in every tower, things are bad. They cut corners. Sexual harassment, they start sex for marks, money for marks. Look at my point. The fight has a lot. They reduce our reserve allocation. They loot it just like government loot it. Yeah, so, so what I'm talking about. So, so that's why I said this in Nigeria. It's not government alone, no. And I just said, if you point, remove the. Move so are, are, you, are you saying, although things are bad, things are bad, people shouldn't protest? No, I said, look, I said, in, in advanced democracy, mm -hmm. how do you end bad governance? You wait for four years, you fought them out. You fought them out. And again, this is democracy. What do you do? We have councillors that were elected across the country. They are, they are chosen from among us, from our boards. We have state house of state lawmakers. Yeah. We have house of reps. We have senators. Go and lobby them. In advanced democracy, they, yes, they, they protest. They protest in Leeds. They protest in the United States. They protest in France. They protest around the world. Protest. The young people around the they world. Are not, they are not this type of occasion to protest. They are orchestrated protest. That, they are doing the answer. I think they want to have Nollywood. <laughs> you know, we see what they've been doing the answer. All of them. But, so, just, be genuine, but, we, so, so are you, does that then mean that 
the protest that former president, you know, uh, former president Buhari yes. participated in. Which I the former president. Yes. 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 Was they're it was real. it fake? Why they're not real? It was, was, with it was fake. Plot, with that, and you know, you know what? You know that Buhari rode into power on the basis of that protest. That gave visibility because before that time, nobody would thought Buhari with the pool. So now you're saying what goes around comes around. Because, yes, I agree with you. Ayo, that's for you, Doctor Sir. Hello. Yes, go ahead. I can hear. Yeah, you. thank you very much. This this answered the, this answered the question he raised before. The structures we have are not working. Why are they not working? Because of bad governance. Good governance ought to start from a top downward, but it's not working. And that is why should we have good to governance change really start from the top or from is, the bottom, Dr. Hello? Suleiman? Should good governance start from hello? the top or start from the local governments? So that is why we said the structure needs to be changed. That is why we said we need to wait and say, wait, to, how do we change the situation? And this is what these youths are calling for. And that is why I said the federal government is not reading the situation properly. These boys are tired of corruption. These boys are tired of money not reaching its end point. These boys are tired of the economic system without thinking, being taken by federal government, without thinking of the hard effect of those policies. And these boys have come out to give an ultimatum. Instead of addressing this situation, government is now coming up with conspiracy theories. Government is now coming up with the politicians here, calling, calling everybody fake, fake, and calling everybody names. That is not what the situation called for. The situation, situation called for federal government to sit down and ask itself, what do I need to reverse? Let's see what happens tomorrow, the first day of <laughs> August. <laughs> okay. No, because it's, it's a house built on speech. What do you mean, Phil? They won't come out? Or... No, it is, it's a house built on speech. It will collapse and fall on the air. Thank you for coming. Mr. Adebayo is the senior advocate of Nigeria. And uh, Dr. Sulaiman also is a senior law person as well as he's also lecturer in Amadou Bailey. But thank you both of you for coming on this morning. Okay, we'll have some messages coming through. Let's see how much of it we can take. This comes from Pastor uh, uh, Daniel. He says, a government that is performing well should not fear protest. In fact, Responsible citizens will not protest against a good government and governance. How do you expect the few percentage of the politicians do not buy fuel with their money, who don't go to market, not to fight genuine protesters? Well, the truth of the matter is that governments should be responsible for those who will hijack the protest. All right, we have this one from Paul Agbolade. In my opinion, it's a positive move considering the fact that the applicable exchange rate will be fixed. Okay, I think he's talking about something we talked about yesterday. Uh, so let me see if I can move on to Imonoka Enakena. Protest is demanding better living wages, caught in multi-taxation, and recurrent expenditure, diversity in the economy, cutting the interest rates and hyperinflation, availability of electricity and reduction in petroleum product price, and let's have workable refineries to banish fuel scarcity and irresponsible hoardings that lead to increase in petroleum prices. Well, first of all, 